Once you're working in the Precision Editor, there are a number of features and the interface behaves slightly different depending on where the mouse is. And you have to be paying attention to where the mouse is. For example, if I roll over to the top part of the interface, you see here, if I skim through the top film strip, everything in that film strip becomes available. If I roll down to the middle of the interface, the top film strip at this point becomes grayed out, and the bottom part before the edit point becomes grayed out. What this means is that anything that is in light color is what it's actually in the project. So as you can see here, I'm skimming through sort of in the middle of between the top part and the bottom part. And when I skim through, we get to see the same thing that we get to see in the project. So you can actually the, see the playhead going across here. Now, on the other hand, if I skim on the top part, the viewer shows me the frames of the top clip, regardless if it shows up on the project or not. So as you can see here, when I skim through the top part, the playhead doesn't show up on the project, and I can still skim through the right-hand side of the edit point and see those frames in the viewer. Same thing if I go to the very bottom. If I go to the very bottom, now the top clip becomes disabled, and the bottom clip I can skim through and see in the viewer here the frames before the edit point on this second clip. Other options that you have visually are this one here where you can show or hide the sound wave of the, those particular clips. So if you need to sync to an audio cue, enabling this option to show the waveform can become really powerful. And the same way, you can skim through the audio strip. In this case, we don't hear anything because I've got uh, the option for skimming off. But if I turn it on, then we can hear what's ever on the sound wave. So let me turn it off for the time being. The other visual tool that we have available is pressing on this button. And what this button does is enables any other transitions or any other voiceovers or any other green screens or any other thing that may be added to the project. It shows up in the interface here. Now in my case, you don't see anything showing up because as you can see in my project, I don't have anything except just the clips added in here. So in that situation, toggling for me doesn't make any difference. One last visual option that you have available is at the bottom, you have the slider where you can control how big the film strips are. The further that you drag to the left, the more precision that you get to see in the little film strips over here. Or the opposite way, if you drag further to the right, the smaller they become and the more that you get to see of the whole project. So I'll go back to the default of two seconds. <laughs> 